While women had been allowed to enlist in the Marine Corps Reserve in 1918, at the onset of World War I, it was in February of 1943 that the United States Marine Corps Women's Reserve was established. Under the direction of then Colonel Ruth Cheney Streeter, the new recruits began training at Mount Holyoke College in South Hadley, Massachusetts. Later classes, over 19,000 recruits, completed their training at the Women's Reserve Permanent Facilities in New River, North Carolina. For her work with this new program and the new recruits, Streeter was awarded the Legion of Merit, as well as the American Campaign and World War II Victory Medals. Exercising judgment, initiative, and ability, Colonel Streeter rendered distinctive service in directing the planning and organization of the Women's Reserve of the Marine Corps and skillfully integrating women into the basic structure of the Corps, carefully selected, trained, and properly assigned them as replacements for men in shore establishments. Throughout the war, women were assigned to over 200 positions, including radio and telegraph operator, aerial gunnery instructor, parachute rigger, and photographer. By the end of World War II, 85% of Marine Corps personnel assigned to headquarters were women. After the war, only 1,000 of the 20,000 enlisted women were retained for active duty. And in 1948, Congress passed the Women's Armed Services Integration Act, which finally made women a permanent fixture in the Marine Corps. During the Korean War, 2,700 female Marines served either overseas or stateside, and in 1978, Margaret A. Brewer, another Legion of Merit awardee, would become the first female Marine to achieve the rank of general. Today, women serve in 93% of all occupational fields of the Marine Corps and constitute over 6% of the Corps and strength. They are an integral and essential part of the United States Marine Corps.